Coaches, today on Air Raid Nation, we're going to talk about four verbal cues that you can use to run a great fast screen in any offense. If that interests you, stay tuned. Coaches, welcome back to Air Raid Nation. This is Coach Coulthard coming to you again today. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite concepts in the Air Raid offense. That's the fast screen. And, you know, I've seen a lot of videos on, on online and videos that I've done talking about the screen game. And you guys know that have been following the channel know how much I love the screen game. So I thought today we would talk a little bit about how you could run the screen, not only in the Air Raid, but in any other offense. And one of the most important things you got to understand is most of us go to coaches clinics, right? And when we go to those coaches clinics, you know, we're drawing all these X's and O's and all this other stuff. But one of the best things that you can pull from any coaching clinic, whether it's online, in person, or anything else, is what are these verbal cues that these coaches are using to teach players to perform the necessary rep that they want. And that's what we're going to talk today. Not much is about the X's and O's, but those verbal cues of how to get your players to run the fast screen correctly. And I'm going to pull up some film here in a second. But listen, guys, you guys are doing a great job supporting the channel. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. About 65% of you guys still don't subscribe. I appreciate you coming by and watch. But when you subscribe and click that bell notification, it helps the channel grow. And I want to reach out and reach more coaches with the Air Raid and let them be a part of Air Raid Nation. All right, all that being said, make sure you drop a like on the video too, man. Can we get 150? Let's jump in the video. All right, guys, here we are. And I went, went deep into the vault for you today, man. I got some old Red Springs film out because I like I wanted to show you guys some tape. We've been doing a lot of X's and O's, so let's do it off film today. And so, like I said, I'm, I told you we were going to talk about four verbal cues um, for, for the fast screen that you can use in any offense. And I've run fast screen in wing T, spread pro, air raid, however you want to call it, whatever your personnel is. Basically, if you can get two guys on the same side, you know, over here like this, you're going to get an opportunity to be able to do the things that you want to do, okay? So the first one you guys have heard me say, you know, a bazillion times, you know, that first verbal cue, I think that if you're teaching people is when you talk to the slot receiver, you use the term flat for five. Okay, so many guys use this, you know, use this term, you know, go block number one, but then this guy, he'll go running at number one, and then, and then the corner will come up and blow the screen up. So we've always used flat for five, and I'll show you right here on the tape what we're talking about. You can watch the slot right here. See how he's boom, 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 boom. He's going real flat for five because he knows that this guy is going to come running up and watch his path. Okay, watch his path all the way through. Bang, that block right there is huge. If he goes running at that corner from the very beginning, he's not going to make that play. Okay? You know, if he if he takes a bad angle here, if he doesn't know that flat for five cue, and he starts running right here thinking this guy's going to drop, then, uh, you know, he's in trouble. So that very first cue, that flat for five cue, is a big one. Okay? All right. Now, the second one that we, we talk about is, is ride the rail and lean. Okay? If you get a guy that's up top, you know, that's, that's backed off. Z is just going to bounce and catch the ball. Okay. But if he's up top like this, we want you to ride the rail. And what that means, we want you to outside release. And then on that third step, turn and ride the rail down and then lean inside, lean inside. And you'll see that guy lean in and watch, and watch, uh, watch the receiver up here at the top. He's going to, he's going to outside release. He rides down. Now watch him lean, see him leaning back in there. That little bitty lean step, believe it or not, it keeps them from coming in too, uh, in too far and catching it in this area here where you got this guy running and a lot of other guys do that. So, you know, this isn't the best lean, but this was the best rep. So you can see right here when he comes back after he rode that rail back inside, he's going to lean. Bang, right there. Really, really important. So that's the first two. So you have flat for five. You have ride the rail and lean. Now, Hey, coaches, I just wanted to pause today's video, man, real quick and just tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys supporting everything we've been doing on the channel and with 92 Mesh Group. I, 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 a lot goes into making these videos, and a lot of you guys support us through either Patreon or getting our courses on CoachTube and things like that. And matter of fact, this week, uh, all the way through May the 9th of 2021, our, co our CoachTube courses are 60% off. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to give you another code so you can add another 10% off on all, any course on CoachTube of ours that you want to get. Also, hey, check Check the link down below. We're getting back into the hat game. That's right. We got trucker and snapbacks. Check them out. Back to the video. For the quarterback. Okay, the quarterback even has a verbal cue on, on fast screen. And what we tell him is, is throw it at the wise helmet. 
Okay. So many times guys just, just, you know, they just catch it, turn and sling it out there and they don't really have any idea where it's going. And so they, they, they don't have a target. So we like to give them a target and we tell them, throw it at his helmet. Okay. Throw it at his helmet. Look at that helmet and throw it. Now he gets rushed a little bit. It's not the best ball, but if you think about it, that ball is going right at that kid's helmet and look at him. He's going to ride the rail and lean and bang right there. All right. And so lastly, that little piece um, you know, if you if you look at, and we'll get to that last cue in just a second, but if you look at the offensive lineman, it's the same thing. That right tackle, he's got the same verbal cue as the slot. He's gonna quick release flat for five. Okay. So that's why that's that that's why that's most important. That that verbal cue has been used for two people here. So no matter what your offense is, use that verbal cue of flat for five here, flat for five there. Okay. Then the then you have ride the rail and lean. And then you have throw it at the helmet. And then the last verbal cue is, you know, get in and get out. Okay, get in and then get out. Don't try to run it inside. I had a hard time um, this year with my young group at Fairmont. Those kids wanting to catch the screen and then try to run in here where all this crap is. Like, it's not a tunnel screen, guys. And it's very important. So if you're using those cues and those guys are learning that cue, you're going to be really good right here. So look, get in, get out. All right. And so that and then, you, of course, then it becomes, hey, bless, bless with speed, be a great athlete. OK, so, you know, right back to the beginning. One more time. We'll go through it one more time. Just so just to reinforce. Boom. One, two, three, four, five block. Ride the rail. Lean. Throw it at the helmet. Get in. Get out. All right, coaches, I hope you enjoyed today's video um, on, on those four verbal cues. And I really can't express as much. When you go to these clinics or when you sit down with these coaches, ask them, hey, what are some little verbals that you're using to get your guys to understand these concepts? Because a lot of these guys, they look at these X's and O's and they can remember what the play looks like, but then they're getting to thinking. So, but if you can get them to think like fast five or ride the rail and return, you're going to get a lot better return on your investment. And uh, as always, guys, I really appreciate everything. Please, please subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video. If we can get 150 likes on the channel, that'd be awesome. Awesome. Remember, we're back in the hat game. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Here's that code I was talking about. Use the code YouTube10 for another 10% off. So you get 60% off regularly at a YouTube 10. So you can get the foundations course for 30 bucks this week. Hey, I appreciate it once again. And as always, spin it to win.